I am the adorable Sky Betty, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Age Origins, my roleplay playthrough. I wanted to mention that um, my roleplay might not be 100% accurate, but if any of you have played D&D, well, the only reason I say that is because certain people in my party I probably wouldn't have in with the, the noble good, um, I guess we could say lawful good, or neutral good um, character of Colette that I'm playing, for example, Sten. But if you've also played like Dungeons and Dragons, you also know that sometimes you have to kind of just ignore things for your other party members because it just doesn't make sense and it's not going to make sense. For example, if you have a, a lawful good paladin and a rogue in your group, well, it's no fun for the person if your rogue can never steal anything. So you basically just say, paladin, go sit in the corner, right? So that's kind of how going to be how my mindset is because, let's be perfectly honest, um... I probably wouldn't accept, like, Liliana off first bat. I probably wouldn't accept some crazy lady who said she'd seen a vision. Sten is in a cage. I don't think I would even, like, go up and talk to some random prisoner in a cage. Morgan is crazy um, and has no value for human life whatsoever. Um, Wynn, I could see, but even at the same time, I'd be like, you should stay here in the mage tower. So really, I would only have Alistair and Lloyd. Which, to be fair, Alistair and Lloyd kick ass! But, uh... And maybe Ogryn when we got to him, because I could see... I don't I don't think I would have any problem with Ogryn and maybe Zevron. Um, I don't think she would kill Zevron, but I don't think she would trust some assassin to join her. But I'm also trying to play her as like a very culturally open person. Like she loves um, history and she loves the elves um, and she loves different cultures. So that's kind of how I'm, I'm getting by with the Sten aspect of it. Like she's trying, she's trying really hard not to judge Sten you know, by what he does because she doesn't understand her culture and she's trying really hard not to judge Morrigan by what she does. But the difference, I think, with Morrigan is that she... It was just a matter... Like, Sten actually seems remorseful of his actions and knows that what he did was wrong, whereas Morrigan just doesn't seem to give a shit about anyone, right? Um... Anyways, so I just wanted to apologize about that, but if you, like I said, if you play Dungeons and Dragons, you've you've got to kind of just smudge some of those lines and just go with it. So I don't want to have no companions because, let's be fair, there's a guy who loves killing, there's a crazy lady, there's an old woman, but, you know, um, there's a... I mean, when you first meet some of these characters, it's kind of like... Actually, to be perfectly honest, you don't learn about Sten's story until... Um, until you actually talk to him. So maybe he makes the most sense to be with her and then, like, a Chantry sister. But they don't really do... They don't really give themselves the best cases for joining you, right? So it's just kind of like, all right, come along. But we go with it. Anyways, let's get back into it, shall we? It has been a long, long day. We liberated the, but a very successful day nonetheless. We liberated the mages from the horrible circumstances that they were under. We were able to save the first enchanter and our darling Wynne joined us um, on our quest. I'm a little worried about her, considering she's getting along in age, but she seemed to put up quite a fight um, against the demons in the tower. I must admit that I've never seen a demon before, and... Uh, the, if I wasn't having nightmares about 
dragons in my dreams, I would say that is one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, we liberated the mages and they have promised their help in the upcoming war. I honestly did not think that Alistair and I alone could do this. But somehow, with the one group behind us, I'm starting to see a path. I still don't know how two lone people in this world can really make a difference, but those mages, we, we saved them, and they're going to honor, honor that treaty. We came back to tech camp, and I got to, to know my companions a little better. <laughs> Liliana told me some fascinating stories about her time in Orlay, when about her time in the circle, and... Alistair, I'm so glad he didn't see me as a dying golem because he would not stop making fun of me. The poor man still hasn't gotten over Duncan, and I don't blame him. I, along with the nightmares of the dragon and everything else, I still see my father and mother's face every single night. I think over and over, what could I have done? What could I have done differently if I was stronger, if I was faster, if... And why did I look for Fergus? I could have done more, I could have done something, but I, I... I keep these to myself. I don't want anyone to worry about me. Everyone looks to me to be strong, to be a leader. I don't know if it's because of my Kuzla name or because I know something has to be done, but they do. And I have to keep that face. I can't show that. So, <clears throat> anyways, we have more to go. Alistair grew up with uh, Al Eamon. I believe I've met him on occasion um, when he visited my, when he visited our estate, and he seems to be a good man. We're heading to Red Cliff next to ask for his support against Loghain. I am worried about how Alistair will take it. Uh, apparently he grew up with Al Eamon, but at about, at around ten or so he told me, um, the the owl married a a woman, and the woman did not like having a bastard around. And I understand her reasoning, not that I agree with it, and I can't believe that they would do that to a child, of all things. But I do understand. Anyways, I hope that he will be okay going back to Redwall, and I hope that Aliman will open his arms to him. He always puts on jokes and pretends everything is okay with a laugh. But I can tell he might not be as okay as he pretends to be. <laughs> In any case, Lloyd, I think Lloyd needs a walk, so. Yes, yes. Liliana had a uh, quite a long day, and Wind's magic is irreplaceable. I do not trust Morgan. So we shall head to Red Redcliffe. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banor uh. that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know but they will act against you. 
I have arranged for a, a solution with your leave. The Antim and Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Absolutely gorgeous man right there. Oh wait, I can't see it! But something is playing in my head. It's like exposition. Oh! Hold your butts. Oh, get lock, get lock, get lock, emissary. There. Alright, pause. Alright, apparently they ran through all the traps without getting hurt whatsoever. So, that's good. aren't we? We're still out of potions! Ugh. Sorry, Alistair. No doubt I agree with you. Everyone ran past all of these traps without getting caught in one of them. Well, there we go. There's a Lyrian potion. A little late for that, that don't you think? I'm glad I'm so knowledgeable to know what a trap looks like. Oh. Every time I disarm one of these yeah. traps, I feel like my brain becomes ten times smarter. In fact, disarming these traps makes me feel more powerful than killing enemies. I really don't know why. I guess you must be pretty clever to disarm a trap. And so I shall. <laughs> I am so sorry. make you very strong. You're strong, pup. All right. War dog. Wait a minute. Isn't Crowl? Oh. Continuing forward. Apparently we decided to go the long way around the lake. Oh, 
Oh, what a Look, lovely town. can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? Yes. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Caelan my half-brother, I suppose. What? Wait, hold on. Doesn't that make you heir to the throne? Make us breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I think I understand. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. I... Are you sure you're not hiding anything else? Besides my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair, no, that's it. Just the prince thing. Your... Your prince. So, should I be calling you Prince Alistair? <laughs> no, I would hate being called Lady Kuzlin. Oh my god. Um... Prince... Alistair? No! Maker's breath! Just hearing that gives me a heart attack. It's not true, anyhow. I'm the son of a commoner. It was always made clear that the throne is not in my future. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Arl Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Caelan's uncle. And more importantly, very popular with the people. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. That's not really what you think, is it? Well, no. What I really think is that I was lucky enough to survive with you. No. I was teasing about the prince. I was teasing about the prince. I was teasing about the prince. Now, just to spite him, I'm gonna call. Oh, Prince Alistair. Prince Alistair. Oh, Prince Alistair. Oh, he's just gonna hate me. <laughs> but still. I mean, I understand why you kept it a secret. <sighs> but it's not like I kept my lineage a secret. I mean, the Kuzlins date back way, way beyond. We could have been, we could have been in control of the throne. <laughs> Alistair, a prince. <laughs> no, he's, well, that, that, that explains the ruggishly handsome looks. Kaylin was a knockout for sure. I, I just, I, he, I feel like all his the good things about him would die if he were on the throne. All that. Anyways, I, like you said, it probably doesn't matter, except for the fact that now I have plenty of jokes to tease him with. Hello. I, I saw travellers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? What do you mean? Is there a problem? So you... you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? What are you talking about? Heard what? We're under attack. Oh Monsters my god, why is it everywhere we go? Mage Tower, what is everyone it? A blight comes and everyone goes and freaking dies. insane! We have no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. 
So many are dead, and those left are terrified they're next. No, Al. What happened to our Lehman? What is going on? He's deathly ill. And we don't even know if he's still alive. We haven't heard from the castle in days. Why do all of these things seem to coincide? He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegen, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Of course. But seriously, you would think that a country with a dragon coming at it would maybe think to stand together. Logan, I honestly thought you were a very smart man. I read everything about you in my history books. You were a brilliant commander. How could you be so stupid? It doesn't matter if Caelan wanted fanciful adventures with Grey Wardens or whatever the heck. At least he kept the country together during a time when we needed it. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? That They're was in my, a monologue in my head. No, my lord. Calm myself? They just arrived and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. What is... Why? What is it? Uh, no, not all of us died. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. You may have known my father, Tan Kuzland. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I do too, I do You're too. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. What evil things are you talking about? Some call them the walking dead, decomposing corpses, oh returning God. to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. What is going with on? With Caelan dead, starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without our Eamon. Of course we'll help. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murder what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Oh my gosh. Now then, there is much Demons? to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Uh, I'll just discuss first the situation with you. Of course. Isn't the timing of this, uh, you have some... Okay. What exactly are the things that attack the village? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses. Men with rotting flesh that continue to attack what even with the grave. What the bloody earth is happening? Undead, perhaps. Spirits possessing the bodies of the dead. We could be dealing with a mage, but who would do such a thing? That's... Strange. Isn't the timing of this awfully convenient? Are you suggesting what's happened here is related to Kaelin's death and the Civil War? It does seem Eamon's like illness? it. There isn't all... Do you know why he's ill? No, I do not. I arrived recently myself, having heard the news. I know as much as you do now. Isn't Alim an heir to the throne? Our sister was Caelan's mother. I suppose we've royal blood, but it's a shaky claim to the throne, though still better than Loghain's. And it does mean Eamon could intervene in Loghain's bid for the throne, but let's not leap to conclusions. Well, I, don't I would not know. like to think that anyone would wish this on my brother. He is a good man and much loved by the people of Redcliffe, and I can't imagine how terrible it must be for our lesser Isolde, and especially Connor. I would not want him to lose his father at such a young age. 
You have some of our Lumen's knights here. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Quest? Eamon's illness was... is very serious. The Arlesa, out of desperation, sent the knights on a quest for a cure. I know little about this, other than that the cure was supposed to be an ancient relic of great power. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Why are you in the Chantry with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect right, the villagers. Right, of course, that I makes sense. That best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Maybe they should put some... Do you need more men in here with you? We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. Alright, I should get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Let's see if we can talk to Alistair about this. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I've something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. This wouldn't be some former lover of yours, would it? Because I would be very, very sad. A former what? <laughs> no. Do you honestly think I would suggest we go see it together? No. The thing is, <laughs> I have a sister. Oh, thank goodness. I told you about my mother. Right? Thank goodness. Was a servant at Redcliffe Castle. Wait, why am I so... Only I never knew about her. Excited about that. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking. And, well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. That is the person that was in his nightmare. But I don't think he remembers that. And I'm not going to bring it up. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I had left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I don't mean I to say this. That maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. If you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her... As long as it's not a former lover. Her, Wait, what is it? I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana. And I think she remarried, but still lives... That is the person idea. from his dream. If we're in the area, then... But I'm um, not going to say anything. Um, I'm not... I, I don't want to be poking around in somebody's head. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to ask you what you think about... If you're okay, what... what here, look at this. Would you stop? Do you know what this is? This, I want to ask about Redcliffe. <laughs> so rose. Why are you giving me a rose? That's a rose? I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come, and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. Okay, first of all, I want to say I'm trying to ask about your opinion on Redcliffe, but I do appreciate a flower, and it's really beautiful, and... That's... beautiful. I thought that I might... give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing. When I look at you. I... I... Don't... Know what to say. I guess it's a bit silly, isn't it? I just thought... Here I am, doing all this complaining, and... You haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining... Good me. experiences? Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and... Tragedy, I thought maybe I could say something. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. Thank you. 
Thank you. I feel the same about you. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on <laughs> past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know if he's being serious or not, but he's a joke from sort, so okay. Sounds good, off with the armor then, right in the middle of the chantry. Ha <laughs> love calls. Damn, she saw right through me. <laughs> you're so cute when you're bashful. I'll be, <clears throat> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops, just to be uh, safe. You know how it is. Okay, once again, <laughs> Uh, yes, we could go see your sister, and I love the flower, it's beautiful, but don't you think we should have waited until we were back at camp and, you know, didn't have a zombie apocalypse or whatever the heck going on? I wanted to ask you about the zombie apocalypse! Thank you for the flower. Alright, and, um, when I hope you closed your ears to that. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists in the maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou to become one of those fiends. I'm scared, mother. When are the bad men coming? Oh, poor darling. Good day. Everything will be all right. I want to go home. No, poor darling. These are terrible times. I'm so scared, father. What are we going to do? Sorry, am I bothering you? No. Oh, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you alright? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know why oh, I but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Okay, first of all, Okay. Do, first of all, where would he go? Where would he go? Why is that? A, why is that a, not a question I can ask in my brain right now? All right. Okay, we'll look for him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. The night is coming. I so. Have you found any sign of Bevan? We sit here now. <laughs> if I were a child and zombies were rising up out of the ground, what would I do? Where would I go? What is that smell? Fish? And something else. Oh, more fish. Well, they like fish. What's wrong with fish? No, we don't have the men we need. And their numbers just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the dead and they, you know. I don't want to think about that. I guess this might be the last night after all. The king isn't coming. Nobody is. My God. Still no sign of them coming These back from poor the castle. People. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray and hope for a miracle. My God. Hello. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. <sighs> I don't think Dark Spawn can. Uh... I instantly don't like this man. I don't think Darkspawn care who kills them. If you hadn't noticed, there aren't Darkspawn around these parts. You know what? If you don't want my help, why don't you go... You don't find anyone who wants to help, though. Don't thank me for being an ingrate or nothing. Oh. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch. Thanks, Alistair. Mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and all off to the castle tonight. <sighs> Alistair, can you talk to him in my place? Because I really do not like bigoted men. <sighs> you have... I don't want to be polite towards this man, but... Breath in, out... No matter how angry you are, you will always be a, a lady, and especially to those in who need. This man has probably been through a lot. Don't get angry. Show him what you can do on the battlefield. I, I hope you're right. I'm 
have been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. Why am I in charge? Okay, you know what? Whatever. I will take this position gladly, and I will do it. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Crotchety bastard. All right. Why does he refuse? His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he <sighs> hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. Oh, he demanded God. we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Uh, poor man. Uh, I'll go talk to him. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Alright, let's go. Okay. First of all... Here's the address. If I was a child, I would probably want to be home, no? Let's check in here. Hello? Oh, darn it. What did she say his name was? was um oh caitlin's brother i'm such an idiot how could i forget his name well all right hello are you here oh, i don't see him how about over here huh hello is someone in there go away this isn't your home young man come out this instant when shut I... your mouth yes ma'am Wow, that was easy. All right, I came out. You won't hurt me, will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really Do want. Do I look like someone who is, would hurt you? What's your name? It's Bevan. My, my sister is Caitlin. She's probably at the Chantry looking for me. Are you avoiding her? I'm... No, I just didn't want to be in the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, oh. and I want to be brave. Oh, you sound like Owen. Oh, God. Make it bless him. Is this your house? Or, so, what were you doing in there? I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? Maybe I could help you. You... Could. All right, I guess. Mm -hmm. I just. Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was grandfather's. And grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought if I was brave like grandfather, I could use his sword and kill the bad people who took mother. You were. Uh, you had the yeah, right. Mm. You had the right idea. You're very brave. Thank you, miss. But the sword is too heavy for me. I guess I'm not as strong as I thought I was. You'll grow up eventually. Don't worry about it. That doesn't help us now. Caitlin says everyone's going to die tonight. Not if I'm here to help, they won't. Really? You must be very brave. I wish I was like you. You are. You should go back to your sister. But I... Oh, all right. I guess. She'll be pretty mad at me. But I'll go.
<sighs> I get Ray. Poor boy. I can't imagine having his mother dragged off like that. Owen. I, can't, I just can't stop picturing Owen's face. Poor boy. <laughs> Last thing we talked about, he wanted to go off and use a sword. <laughs> a sword. <laughs> Oh, it. I'm sorry. Stop it, Colette. Keep it together. These people need your help. You need to be strong. Pull out the rose Alistair gave her. Puts, puts it in her hair as a decoration. There. This will give me courage. Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Is this Owen the Blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I prefer to not speak to the door. Can I come in? Hmm? All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. I'm not going to make any trouble. Also, Wynne, why do you I have this on? Oh, we need to deactivate it. Um... Cell... Um, not being attacked. Uh, status health 100%, perhaps. Uh, deactivate rock armor. There. Maybe. Somebody's been drinking. No, shut your mouth. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Colette, a Grey Warden helping Barn Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> what is with everybody being sexist in this town? My name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? The militia needs your help desperately. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? He cannot. Hmm? My just... girl, Felena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Or oh, you could work to help save her. I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. I... No, wait. I intend to try. Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. Tell you what. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men, promise me you'll go into the castle and find my daughter. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same thing. Well, what do you want me to say? And I didn't believe him either. Do you want me to be honest well, with you? She's probably dead. Me that Is you'll that what you want? That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise you, I'll find her. We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Right then. Bloody idiot. It seems I have some work to do. We like in the fall. Stop it, stop it, Colette. His daughter's missing. Hmm. Maybe at the mill. 
Of course I'm going to help her, but be realistic. As soon as possible, if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. You might want to, um, freshen up. Just saying. Hey, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Couldn't the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Here, let me open it for you. I have the key. Oh, well, I, I, I don't want to take anything. What? Really? All right, I'll take it. I mean, if you're really giving it to me, I guess I'll take it. All right. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I Unfair, say. isn't it? I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. I still need to speak to Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. I have a good feeling about tonight. I'm glad. All right. Mm -mm -mm. To the north, you say. over here. A boat. A boat being built. Is this the right way? Asta, you grew up here. Wait. What is that? Is that right? Oh, books, I'm so bloody lost. Alistair, what's this? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? <laughs> Maybe it likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. Anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched on it. You stitch oh. your <laughs> name on your socks? Oh, part of Templar training back at the time. <laughs> the men were uh, always getting their socks fixed up. Uh, anyway, um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. A change will be nice. You're oh going gosh, men. It's filthy. And dry. He's a man. He's exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. What hideous habits you've picked up. I'm really not all that surprised. Oh, darling, what's wrong? Oh, you've done well. You're a good dog. Pattern. You're doing, you're so brave. Let's see, we don't have anything for you, do we? No, unfortunately not. Oh my gosh, why are you injured? Oh, right. Sorry. All right. Sir Perth. Hello. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? My lady would be proper. I am a Tan's daughter. Very well then, my lady. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah oh, well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, 
we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinter and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Why is the timing? Oh. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. The thought chills my blood. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Raycliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. Just what is he sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Why did the Alessa believe anyone could find the urn? The Earl once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. He had proved the urn was in Ferelden, or so I was told. I'll just ask him and something we... else. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need Wait, of aid than Wait, that me. insulting man is the mayor? Pfft. Carry on. As you wish, my lady. Make her watch over you. Thank you. No word from the castle. <gasps> That's the flower Lily wanted. Oh, I've got to grab that for her. She'll be so delighted. As though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The owl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. What's going on, darling? My hound seems particularly... Oh, can I do something with it? <laughs> what? What's that? Ah, uh, it's sort of like coming home again. And, but with more undead. Yes, that's probably not the most... That is a beautiful view, though. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Chantry. I mean, I... <sighs> I guess asking when would be the best thing if holy protection would actually do anything against them. Actually, let's see if we can ask her. You know, she'd probably be like Alistair. So, tell me, how did you become a Grey Warden? That's what I thought. Um... I... Um, uh how massacred my family. Duncan helped me escape. I will mostly killed my family. Arl Rendon Howe? The Arl of Amaranthine? Why would he do such a thing to you? He, out of jealousy, he wanted high ever my father's tenure. You were, you are the last of the Cooslands? I had no idea, my lady. I always took my family in our name for... And I haven't talked about this with anyone, actually. I always took my family and our name for granted. There is nothing I can say to ease your pain. I am sorry. Take heart, dear friend. You survived, even when you were not expected to. We do not know yet what lies in store for you, or the name you carry. It is not so bad, is it, being a Grey Warden? I just 
wish my house did not have I'd give it up if I meant if it meant I could see my family again. Sometimes it gives me comfort <clears throat> that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. I just wish my entire family didn't have to be slaughtered for me to Finally get into battle. Finally prove myself. Meet someone like Alistair. Bring honor to my family. Which is no longer here. <sighs> okay. In any case. Chantry. Chantry. Oh, right. Having said you were the one who found him, I can't possibly repay you. Just stay safe, both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. No worries. I'm glad he came back all right. He just wanted to protect you. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest Not so much hour. stranger. We are most grateful to you. I cannot stand by while monsters attack the helpless. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. Surely this cannot be the entire village. These few are all who are left. All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. Out of character. I've always done Red Cliff first, so I've never had Wynn in the party before during this mission, so I'm very curious having Wynn in the party during this mission. Sir, Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures. Yes, I, I understand feel that. the Maker can provide, and that I would hold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing. That's a very good point. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker yes, protects them course. in a real sense? Yes, of course. I will not lie to them like that. It's not lying if it gives them confidence and it protects them i suppose if they believed in the maker's power that belief would inspire them somewhat it, it just it's not seems like trickery very well if it keeps them alive i will do what i must it might not I keep them alive but it will make them feel better Tell and that that he can have them and that well they will confer the maker's protection now please let me tend to these poor folk I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. <sighs> Actually, could I have your blessing? What is it you need, child? I would like your blessing, mother. Of course, child. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks <laughs> his forgiveness. <laughs> Blessed is the prophetess. His daughter sacrificed to the holy flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. Thank you, Mother. All right, let's go. You two, stay safe, and you, I know you want to be brave, and you're so brave. Protect your sister, okay? Promise me you won't leave her side. All right. Right, we have to run all the way back up again, don't we? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, my serious. How do we get up there?
Now I suppose we can get rid of that, can't we? Wait, is this the right way? Yes. Mm, stairs are so hard to walk up sometimes. Hello. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. You said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Mother Hannah has holy amulets. Would those do? They are the same as the symbols worn by their priests. Well, that would more than suffice. I'm glad I could help. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. I'm ready to make my stand. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... No, I'm ready now. Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. enough people. They're coming. Get to your position. What is that? Make ready. What is that? What is that cloud? All right, everybody hold your positions right here. Oh no, not you again. taking quite a lot of damage. That one. Alright. Now that one. Now this one. Good. Now... Yes. That one's like going for wind. Let's stop it in its tracks. Good job, darling. Good job. There you go. Are there any close? There we go. That one. And this one next. Now this one. Good job, girl. We're doing good, we're doing good. Keep it up. Are there any close to death? I can't, oh no. Can you? Alright, how is everyone doing? Night, 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 night. Let's try taking quite a bit of damage. Everyone's 
seems all right. All right, last one, last one. We did it! Good job, gentlemen. The monsters are attacking from the lake. What? They're attacking the barricades. We need help. The lake? Knight, stay here and guard the path. Come on, we need to hurry. as many as possible. Seems all right. Esther, darling, how are you doing? They're okay, they're okay. I know. I guess you can keep attack the same one as I'll get that one, you get that one. Oh, my God. 
think I can just help these ones out here. Okay. going. Come on, men, don't stop shooting. victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these <laughs> good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. I was happy to help defend the village. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave I am their so lives sorry I cannot save more of you. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your arm. <coughs> Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now is no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. All right. Well, this has been an exciting episode. We're going to end it here. And next time, attack on the castle. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy, click the like button and follow me on YouTube and Twitch. I am Beautiful Sky Buddy and adieu.